Alright, hey, what's up YouTube? It's Kevin, and today I'm going to be sharing my experience working at a software development company. Uh, while I was 17, I'm still 17 right now, but while I was 17, this winter break. Alright, so let me talk about where it was. It was at this company called Top Hat, which makes software for um, professors at universities to teach their courses, to test, kind of like this whole educational suite of tools for professors to teach courses at unis or colleges. And specifically, my job there was to work with their mobile team as a software development intern on iOS to work on their mobile app for their platform. Alright, so first I'm going to talk about how I got the internship. And the story is kind of crazy because it started off last summer with me simply emailing out of the blue, like a cold email, um, sending an email to one of the executives at the company. And it wasn't even asking for an internship, it was simply to ask for advice on some software projects that I was working on at the time. So he invited me down to their office um, in downtown Toronto and after we talked and I showed him my projects and he gave me his advice, he offered me the internship and that was super crazy. And I wanted to share this because I just wanted to show you that if you're young, it's really important that you guys shoot emails. Like don't be scared to, and don't hesitate to shoot emails because when you do this, and especially when you're young, uh, the people that are in charge of maybe giving out internships or HR, when they see that you're young, that means that you want to be there. It's not because you have to fulfill some requirement for some course um, at uni or just because you need experience for some other thing. Like you want to be there and that shows because you're coming at like the youngest age to apply for some of these positions. So shoot emails, don't be scared. All right, so basically after emailing them for a couple of months, um, from, from the summer when I started talking to them, when I sent the email, uh, we finally decided on a date and the internship would take break over the, the winter break. And this is especially when my parents planned to go to Costa Rica for a family vacation. So I actually uh, decided to stay home and do the internship just because of uh, how much I cared about getting that experience and applying it to my personal projects. And that was it. Alright, so now let's get into the story of the actual internship itself. So the place was downtown, so I had to subway from my house every single day. And here I'm going to put a little picture of a video of where, where it was and me logging in and what the workstation looked like. Yeah, just for fun, so... Alright, so this is me just logging into my, into my office. And here comes a cool video of the office itself. It looks really bright, vibrant. That's my computer. Yep. And, alright, this is like the coolest part. It kind of makes you feel like you're like a really cool person. Because <laughs> when you go outside, there's like Louis Vuitton. Like, this is like the expensive part of Toronto, um, where the office was located. Anyways, I was told my project the first day, which was supposed to be to redesign a certain section of the mobile app. In particular, it was a section where you added courses, because it was kind of this app where um, you could add courses and connect with your professors. That was kind of the point of their software. And after I set up on the first day, I did not understand anything that was going on. Like, I remember spending eight hours that day simply just staring at the screen and being like, what's going on? And this is really weird because I was fluent in the programming language that they used. Um, in fact, I had four years of experience in it. But I came from a background where I would just make my own apps. So I just put all the code into one file. And in companies, you can't do that. You can't just jumble all of your code together in one file and expect it to, you know, expect your supervisor to be happy. You have to, it's like, it's called architecture basically, where you separate your code and all the components of the project um, in different groups and different categories and different folders. And then I was like, what code goes where? Like I was, I was lost. I didn't know what to write. Well, I did, but I didn't know where to put it. And then every time I asked, um, my supervisor, he just looked like a little bit more ticked off, like, okay, this guy just really does not know what he's doing. So that was basically my first day at work. And I remember this picture right here, left to right, this is exactly what I felt like. I felt like Homer Simpson at the nuclear power plant. I, I, I did not know what I was doing. All right, but fortunately for me, and this is gonna make me sound like a huge nerd, but fortunately for me, my parents were at home, and the next day after the day I started was Christmas day. So I spent Christmas day by myself, home alone, studying everything that I did not understand at my internship. And then day after Christmas was also a day off of work. So I spent these two days. And mind you, this was during college application season, guys. Like I was filling out essays at the same time. So I spent the next two days like understanding everything I did not understand. 
um, just so on Thursday when I would get back, you know, I'd be decently efficient. And guess what? I Thursday I came back and Friday, even though I didn't get too much work done, I started slowly applying everything I had learned over that two day little break. And I was starting to make a little bit of progress. All right, and this is where everything changes. The Monday coming back from the first week of my internship, like after a weekend where I just simply filled out college essays, the Monday coming back was the day that I finally put together like the, the core part of my task for that week. And this was like basically so you could search on the mobile app and courses would pop up. So this was like the core thing of what I had to do. And all my supervisors, they just witnessed a week of me just seemingly doing nothing, just like, you know, hacking away at nothing on the computer. And then finally on Monday, they saw the first complete section of the app. And it wasn't like a little section, like it was like the main thing that I had to do. So this was a shock to them. It wasn't a shock to me because I knew what I was doing this whole time. It's just that I didn't know like how I needed to completely get there. But this was one of the happiest moments probably like of my life today because it was like, wow, I just worked within a team using all these team tools that I didn't even know how to use. And I finally pieced together this part of their app that they needed. And yeah, basically the rest of the week went smoothly. I finished the, all of the subtasks that they assigned to me on this kind of website where they give you tasks. Even though I didn't completely finish like every little detail about what I had to finish, like it was two weeks um, long. And that's, that's basically the story, that was my internship. Um, I'm gonna be likely working with them again in the future um, as an intern, continue my internship. But that's basically the moral of the story. Don't be afraid to shoot emails. And if you're gonna be working for the first time as a software development intern, know how to use all the uh, team working tools like Git and Jira that they're gonna be using and understand like what kind of architecture that their code uses. But these are just, you know, like the technical stuff about it. So make sure you're easy going with people make sure you ask a lot of questions, even though at one point it may seem like they're starting to hit you. Um, but honestly, just ask questions. Um, they they don't mind. Honestly, they do not mind um, when you ask a lot of questions because in the end, it makes everything run smoother for everyone instead of you just writing your own random stuff and having the entire company's code crash. So yeah, that was my story. And if you guys liked it, if it's helped you, uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe because I'm going to be posting more videos soon. Don't even, don't even, that's not even a question. I'm going to be posting more videos soon and drop um, a follow on my Instagram, drop a follow, of course, and that's basically it guys, take care, and I'll see you next time.